What's up guys? Well, I picked up another camera on eBay. I thought I got a pretty good deal on this. This is a very old uh, Nikon DSLR. This is a Nikon D50 and this uh, first sold in uh, June 2005 and only sold until uh, November 2006. This is only a 6.1 megapixel camera. Uh, with only five zone uh, autofocus with five zone focusing area um, and the ISOs are only 200 to 1600 uh, it takes SD cards and you're very limited with space on that on storage um, I'm using a one gig a one gig uh, SD card right now I'm looking for a two gig um, in my old cameras I was lucky to find this one these are some small um, SD cards, but um, this I bought, I purchased on eBay. Um, I got it through auction, and I offered the seller a hundred dollars for this when I uh, when he had a best offer at the beginning, and he wanted one hundred seventy-five for it. So uh, his starting bidding started at one hundred. So yeah, I tried to just pick it up for one hundred, but. Um, Bidding went up, and I ended up paying uh, one twenty something for it, and uh, it's in very good condition. The previous owner did keep it in good condition, um, and this is a uh, infrared uh, converted camera, and this is my first Nikon uh, camera. So, uh, but this is going to be my second infrared uh, converted camera. I'm not sure what, uh, who did the conversion for this. I'm assuming it's a live pixel um, conversion. It's a very cool camera, very well uh, kept. Um, and I will be upgrading my Nikon, or my Canon 10D. Uh, because this is also a 6 megapixel camera. This one has a life pixel infrared 850nm. Um, it takes good pictures when it takes pictures. But if you've seen my uh, previous video uh, with the infrared, um, this is a little wonky. It uh, locks up on me. Um, I don't have the limitation on uh, storage on this. I haven't tried a bigger memory card than 8 gigs for on, in compact flash, but. Um, this one does the job pretty well. When it does work, like I said, it won it gets all wonky on me. It uh, the I don't know if it's a mirror issue or what. Um, I don't even know if uh, Canon will service the 10D and if they'll service it because it is a infrared converted camera. Maybe <laughs> I don't want them converting the sensor in back into a normal one if I do send it to Canon either. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Have it sit around, try to sell it. If somebody wants to buy it, I did get this for 100 bucks. Did take it does take great picture. I do have lots of Canon glass. So that's a cool thing. This is my first Nikon camera. I don't have glass and it's hard to get used to the dials where the functions are and uh everything is opposite from Canon with the Nikon D50 with this one um, just screwing in the lens mount and focusing all opposite I have to get used to so my first time even using a Nikon DSLR not o as owning and using so um, it's a lot of getting used to and I only have one lens which is the Nikon uh, 55 to 200 um, this is just the regular with the without the VR. I got a good deal on this too. I found this at uh, Walmart. It was a display model. Um, I got all excited and the, that it was like a VR. I could I was looking up Craigslist and eBay prices on this. And then being without the VR, this was a display lens, just a regular uh, um, 55 to 200. I got all excited. Uh, I even asked the dude at at the counter at the electronics department at uh, Walmart if I could open it up and check it out. He wouldn't let me. This is an open box, and he still wouldn't let me check out. Uh, he wouldn't take out the security stuff um, for me to check out. But whatever. Um, I did only get this for twenty five dollars, though. I mean, 
not bad for a lens and this was like pretty much uh, new condition came with the Nikon baggie and this the lens hood um, it all it didn't have was um, the rear cap um, so not a bad deal for a uh, for a lens uh, this is probably only worth twenty five dollars <laughs> but um whatever i need I just picked this up even before I bought the nikon d fifth this one the nikon d fifty so uh it was a sign that I was gonna or it just forced me to buy a nikon I guess but I did find this nikon for a good deal but yeah it came with the baggy lens hood and all that but um here we go let me stick on the lens for you guys here this is the part that I always have a hard time with uh, lately because it's not a Canon and even taking it off if I have to I don't have to because I only have one lens but seriously opposite focusing opposite but again let's go back to this camera um, so yeah it's infrared um, converted I'm not sure what sensor or uh, what filter or infrared it is let's as you can see it's really red this is with white balance with a custom white balance I don't like it with the custom white balance I don't know what's wrong it's just too bright for me I don't know maybe I have to uh, set up the compensations um, for that the brightness but uh, just regular um, auto uh, white balance I like I don't have a problem converting on uh, doing post so uh, see this is nice I you get a nice shot and uh, the auto white balance for some reason it's just getting way too bright I mean it's nice to have this with the custom white balance um, because you don't have to do uh, much in post, if anything. Um, you could just shoot them onto your uh, phone on Instagram or something. But um, yeah, uh, let's. But the process isn't too bad. I still use the free software. I, I still use GIMP, um, and I use the Raw Therapy. Or one of the plugins for for the raw raw files. I shoot in raw, very small compared to uh, the raw on the Canon 10D, which is nice. Um, less space. I could oh, uh, this memory card can only take uh, about 135 uh, raw images uh, in that one gigabyte. So uh, I got to find that two gig. This maxes out at two gigabytes, so that's <laughs> kind of sucks. But um, Let's uh, check out uh, the conversion process for me to how I do my uh, pictures on GIMP. And let's take a look at that and then uh, check out some of the pictures I've done so far with this Nikon D50 camera with uh, infrared conversion.
All right, so that's my Nikon uh, D50 infrared uh, converted camera. And that's my uh, Canon 10D infrared converted camera. Not your typical uh, way to switch to Nikon or just get your first Nikon and going straight into infrared. Infrared is uh, some niche uh, part of our hobby of photography. And uh, I mean, it's not for everybody. It's this all only shoots uh, infrared. You don't get color, but that's a. I'm into it. I I grew up. Uh, I started photography doing black and white. I love uh, uh, infrared. I uh, I did it with the Kodak. Uh, I did uh, black and white with Ilford back in high school in the '90s, and uh, I love it. So uh, that's why I. Uh, choose to shoot uh, infrared and plus if I want color pictures these days I have my phone with me all the time or I have my um, mirrorless camera my uh, either my Canon M3 or uh, Canon M50 with me which are a small form factor and I could stick both in the bag without uh, without them being very heavy so uh, this Canon 10D is pretty heavy but this uh, this Nikon D50 is not too bad to be lugging around with uh, maybe my film camera and uh, my uh, my Canon uh, mirrorless uh, cameras. So, not bad. Alright guys, um, make sure to subscribe if you like the video. Like, click the like button. Click the dislike button if you don't like the video. I don't care. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I know this is kind of a long video, but um, I'd love to do more of these uh, reviews for you, for you guys. So uh, let's get that uh, subscribers uh, up there. So uh, all right, thanks for subscribing or thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with uh, another camera. Uh, probably some of my lenses. We'll do a review on my lenses for my uh, Canon mirrorless uh, cameras, which I love. All right, thank you. Bye.